Hey everybody, it's Alexander Williamson here with the secret history living in your aquarium. We're in another Florida store and we are checking out what they do here, uh, the products they have, and so on and so forth. This is called Marine Warehouse, Tampa, Florida, since 1976. Uh, they've got a lot of nice products. Uh, plastic plants compared to what we carry locally in Seattle but we're about the real plants in Seattle I think they've got some real plants over here too but this place is really kind of catered to either rich folks who want to come in uh, like this area and, and pick out a display uh, specific specifically salt water definitely and uh, also set up towards those who want to uh, or who are um, in the maintenance of the place of of these tanks so it looks like they got a nice fluval setup um, fluval do they have the 3.0 they've got a lot of different fluval marine stuff so everything's marine down here at every shop I've checked out which is kind of interesting um, I mean it makes sense because you can go catch your own uh, fish and put them in your tank if you want looks like uh, sea chem is popular here fluval I don't know prime HD and ice cap you know like um, it's a water top off system we've got some cooling systems stuff like that Sarah uh, obviously know that one and then they've got a lot of these uh, looks like they're pretty heavily represented with the fluval stuff and cobalt and then they've got this nice, the Evo uh, Fluval C Evo Saltwater Kit, which is a nice little setup uh, if you haven't checked it out. It makes it pretty easy just to set up a little reef tank like this. They got some frags growing in here. And then they got the all LED lighting on here, some clownfish and, you know, different corals and stuff like that in here. Uh, same deal here it looks like at one point they might have had a co2 oh they got co2 running in the back now i see so then you got all your uh artificial plants stuff like that pond season must be big here too cascade heat that's interesting because uh i'm from seattle where there's the cascade mountains nets are nice and cheap uh pumps nice and cheap and uh, Fluval Flourish, all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and Seachem, or I, sorry, Seachem Flourish. I was looking up these Fluval stuff while I was saying that. Now, this is cool. They've got a whole section set up for Neocaridina shrimp. So, where a lot of stores would have bettas and stuff like that, they've got their Bloody Mary shrimp. Uh, $7.99 a piece. Uh, it says Hillstream Loach, but there's... Oh, there are a few in there. And then they also have, uh, you know, a few fish in here. Black line, pencil fish, but then they've got uh, their carbon black. Really, $7.99 a piece. So it looks like $7.99. Their orange Sakuras are $5.99. Oh, they're, they're a lower grade, though. Um, but it's kind of cool that they've got their shrimp laid out here. The red coral pencil fish, $19.99, that's a little rough. Uh, and then they've got the dwarf crayfish, which we can't have in our state, but the CPOs, as they're known, those are pretty cool. Red release, these are some uh, nice looking red release. Celestial Pearl Daniels, I don't see any in here. I don't think they're big on fresh water here, really, on a, like, so yeah. Um, orange pumpkin that seems to be like the orange line shrimp or whatever that seems to be a big one uh, the blue velvet's only $5.99 which is nice uh, we'll take a look at some of their some of their other stuff which is you know other fish we got albino tin foil barbs this is kind of a nice way to write on on it it's a little hard to see but uh, they are down here, everyone has a lot more large fish than the Seattle area. Seattle, most people don't have room for, uh, you know, like this extra large parrot fish that may not get along with everybody. Uh, 
or this <laughs> wow manganese cichlid look at this guy he's looking good and uh, albino clown knife those hide they hide all day giraffe catfish I mean these are all fish that get huge here we've got uh, oh they, they actually have snook interesting uh, which you can catch out in the water. Phloopterus. Uh, Remember the barrel full of these, honey, at the at the research center. They've got some albino angelfish, uh, some koi angelfish that actually look pretty darn good. Uh, they don't have any platinum. It doesn't look like. Yeah, there's another koi angel. And then as far as plants, these are friggin' huge plant tanks. They've got Italian Valcinaria, Franz Stoffel Sword. Looks like a lot of this is plants they've planted from Fan or uh, Florida uh, Aquatic Nurseries. These are really pretty. That's an interesting fish. Um, so we've got Hygro Argi. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here that's interesting? Wisteria, Water Sprite, Crinum. Hydro Compact, Java Fern that's teeny as can be. Uh, this is a nice Tiger Lotus. This is very similar prices. Assorted Crips, $2.99 a piece. That's a good deal. Um, Starogen Repens. Looks like they've got the Aqua Plants Tissue Cultures. This is, I bet this is the Pinto uh, Anubius or Anubius Variegated. Yeah, $11.99. Red root floaters growing up here. This is interesting, I haven't seen that before where they're not so concerned with them being underwater and they're letting them grow out as uh, like that. Then we've got, yeah, so this is all pretty normal stuff. You've probably seen Lutea, Hydro, Hydro Compact, Wendetti Green, Wendetti Red, Undulata, all that stuff you guys have probably seen. Uh, Scarlet Temple Plant's always a nice one, but it's nice that uh, Anacris, we cannot have this in our state. Uh, surprised they can here and then uh, hornwort some states don't allow that but super red mini Ludwigia I don't think that's labeled right but uh, Vietnam Rotala they just don't have the highest light on here otherwise this stuff would turn out a lot a lot brighter but um, definitely they like their big fish all the feeder fish are gone got a selection of goldfish um, look at this guy this is like a little pearl scale like just a little fat ball a little golf ball he's not looking happy but uh, you know they've got a, a lot of tanks here uh, fire eels everyone has fire eels down here it's kind of crazy guppies got all the male guppies and pears but they've separated them which is nice uh, oh yeah they came out nice yeah those are freshwater eels too so, uh, those are cool. Oh, more crayfish. This, we cannot have these in our state. And so, I have the little shrimp and stuff, but we're not allowed the crayfish. And flower horn. Look at this guy. Look at his nuchal hump. That is quite the nuchal hump. Looks like he has some lateral line erosion or something going on. But other than that, he's happy. He's interactive. And uh, he's just... They're kind of goofy fishes. If you've watched Joey, Joey's channel, you know, you know the deal. Star Wars underwater stuff. It's kind of funky. And then we get into more cichlids, more angelfish. Looks like these angelfish are actually pairing off, which is cool. Corydora, green phantoms. Uh, we've got these guys, EB Ram. Uh, I don't know which fish these are. Some sort of loach or pleco. Uh, let's see here. Red tail Sternella plecos. Uh, and then we've got German blue rams, uh, German uh, uh, white rams, wood cat, glass catfish that are huge, lace angelfish, more gold rams, Bolivian rams, albino quarries. I kind of like this uh, setup with them all together. Ropefish, Borneo glass cat different than the Thai glass cat. 
big plecos, common plecos, only 20 bucks. People must bring them in here all the time. Plus, you catch them at the water here all the time. Uh, yeah, so there's just a nice selection of cichlids, and it looks like they're just kind of keeping plecos in there to clean things. More plecos. That's, we saw that at everywhere we've gone. Uh, peacock hybrid, $49. Wow, that is, a, that is a pretty fish, and you can tell he is a feisty, feisty fish. You probably can't see the reds in this water very well. Uh, lemon jack. The colors are probably washed out for you guys, unfortunately, because of the blue lighting. But it's an interesting setup system. It looks like they got pumps running up air across sales on cichlids wood is different than the wood we see on our side of the co on our coast um yellow labs demasoni placodon lots of cichlids we do not have lots of cichlids in seattle they can be quite the aggressive active fish but um they can also form pair bonds quite well. Uh, zebra cichlids. These guys are pretty. I like these guys a lot. And these ones, uh, the, the Hongai Lab. Uh, also, there's some red epistos in with them, which is interesting. Different sides of the world. Uh, albino strawberry peacock, I guess they're calling them. Interesting. Interesting. And lots of just mixes and hybrids. You don't see that in Seattle much. Um, it's interesting. Uh, they're keeping these guys because they're just so violent and territorial. They keep them alone. Honey, go to the very end. They bug the fish up thought. Watch this. My wife's gonna... This guy right here. Put your hand on the glass. Okay. Yep. He, I don't know, he freaked out on me and he like splashed everywhere. And, oh, really? Yeah. So, some aggressive cichlids. Oh, here we go. Here's some spider wood. Same, same suppliers you'd find on the west coast. Young fish. I mean, the seagrest is right across the bay, so makes it easy. Look at this display tank here. Marine warehouse. Write us on Facebook. That they want me to show that. Look at some of these cichlids, though. They're definitely some special cichlids in here. Very nice. And I, I honestly can't begin to start naming all these cichlids. 700 or 800 cichlids, and you know, plus all the hybrids. I have no idea the name of them all. Plus, they got this reef tank here, which is super nice. Uh, so, yeah, I think we will hop over we're gonna check out the rest of the fresh water and then what we're gonna do is we'll hop over to salt water this is a great nymphaea I'm actually not sure that might be a red uh, like a tiger lily type thing but I don't not sure more cichlids which is Wow uh, Senegal bichers these guys get really big um, it's funny to see them so long, the polypterus and uh, candy stripe pleco in here. He not, he's looking kind of dull. He's probably stressed. Uh, what is this? Uh, gold vampire plecos. Rose line sharks. Always a big favorite. More plecos. That's the bag, man. See what we got. Orange seam pleco. Always a nice one. I've got one of those back too home. Too high, too low. We good? Uh, Nearite snails, they've got their dragon, uh, red dragon pocots, and then their half moons crown tails. Another, uh, this is called a cherry pearl flower horn. Hon, look at this one, you'll like this one, sweetie. Another pretty flower horn. Uh, Oscars of various types, lots of plecos. Oh, they've got a Mabu puffer, that's pretty cool. Uh, not every store has those. Here's some older of the ornate uh, bichers, 200 bucks. As I said, these guys will get big. Uh, and we're looking here again, just cichlids. Just too many to even tell you how many cichlids are in here of what kind. Uh, albino strawberry though, that is a nice one. I like him. 
Uh, and some of these are nice too. The uh, I cannot uh, living stone eye stone e i. Uh, I don't know that one. I don't have it. I, maybe I just don't see it that much out in in our area. But they're very cool. Um, and then you've got the Cynodonis and the, this is a green leopard Cynodonis and uh, we've got a black panther Cynodonis. So there's a selection of the Cynodonis that I, uh, we don't seem to have out west. So that's kind of interesting. And then they've got stone and wood you can weigh out on a station here. That's cool. Garamis, big garamis, little garamis. Uh, flame Garamis, Dwarf Garamis, this guy's gonna be big. You're not a Dwarf Garami. Uh, yeah, so they've got most of the stuff you could ever want, basically, here. Uh, they've got some Glowfish, and uh, Rabbit Snail, they've got some Yellow Rabbit Snails over here. Uh, and then definitely diamond tetras. Diamond head tetras are great. They, they, I like the diamond head neon tetras though. If they've got those silver tip tetras, nice uh, red tail phantom tetras. They're bringing things in young, so I would assume since they're bringing in stuff real young. Oh, I love these serpent loaches. They're similar to killy loaches, but here's the killy loaches. Uh, so yeah, I mean, oh, and they've got some Endler here. These look like the rainbow tiger Endlers. Yep. So these are not rainbow. These are just tiger Endlers. And uh, Gold Spot Woodcat. I mean, their Woodcat prices are awesome. Scarlet Battis. Those guys always hide, so they're hiding somewhere, I'm sure. But yeah, I mean, this is a really nicely laid out store. There is a lot of fire. <laughs> There's a fireball lobster here. Some Danios, Giant Danios, Snowball Crayfish. I mean, they've got a ton of uh, inverts that we can't have in our state. So it's cool to see high fin platies, uh, you know, the little bumblebee platies. And there's just so many, uh, so many different varieties. Looks like they had to move their guppies because they kept jumping ship. Uh, yeah. So. Bleeding heart tetras, they're not very colored up. Uh, feather fins, those are nice. Uh, Furcata, Gertrude, rainbows. So, you guys have seen mine, and I mean, draw your own conclusions. These guys are a little stressed. Uh, but yeah, head, headlight and tail light, as well as albino bushy nose. Wonder Killies are supposed to be in here. I don't know. Black Rasboras. Flagfish from Florida, $3.99. That's good. It's nice and cheap. They eat lots of algae. All right. Well, this kind of, uh, we'll kind of wrap up this part of it. And uh, this is a nice freshwater setup in here. Tons of food, tons of people. And uh, over here, we're going to be popping into salt water. And you, you can catch that on the next installation. And you'll be checking out this frag tank, which is pretty epic. Nothing touches it on the West Coast, unless you're in L.A. Uh, the size of this place, it just goes and goes around. So, um, pretty cool. We'll, we'll hop in on that next. You guys don't need to see all the supply stuff. But uh, it looks like there are some more large saltwater fish over here. Just want to make sure I'm not missing any more freshwater stuff. But... Thank you for watching. Uh, this again was Marine Warehouse in Tampa, Florida and the secret history living in your aquarium. Feel free to uh, like, comment, share. Uh, I'm sure there's music playing in the background that's pretty good like Led Zeppelin. So uh, probably will be demonetized, but enjoy. <laughs> Take care guys. And if you want to support the channel in other ways, super chats and also uh, uh, Patreon. That's the name of it. That can help me out. Take care, guys, and uh, if you're down in the Tampa area, check out Marine Warehouse. It's a pretty cool store.